All right, so let's talk about Titan email. So this email client is actually not available. I don't think it's available for just an individual sign up. Yeah. Um, so it's not available for an individual signups. You need to subscribe to one of their partners. So in my case, I use Hostinger as my hosting provider. So they are also partner with Titan. It's kind of like a white label email client. So if you're using Hostinger or any other provider that use Titan as their email client, then this video is right for you. So um, this portal in here is a Titan application that is powered by Hostinger. And when I set up this email, it gives me a warning to set up the MX and SPF records. Um, it sounds like a minor, but like it's actually very crucial for you to set it up. Otherwise, some of your like majority of your emails will land to your recipient spam folder. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Okay, so once you set up your email client, your Titan email client, and I'm going to show you how you can quickly set it up um, to your Hostinger account. So you just need to go log into your Hostinger account and then go into the email itself and make sure as well that the um, domain is already connected to your domain provider like Hostinger. And then you click this thing in here called setup and then it will ask you a, a domain so if you haven't set up the domain you haven't connected the domain yet to the hostinger or your other hosting provider then you cannot link or you cannot create an email client for that specific email address so in my case i already created my cleaning fairies in australia.com.au um, it's already connected in here and then you can just straightly um, install a Titan app um, which you can see if you type in Titan hosting a um, download you can straightly download the this one the application and what you have put in in here as your credential like a password should be um, should be working in here as well. So if you already have an existing email, then just simply click add email and then you sign in to your email address, okay? Um, and in this case as well, it's not just um, the personalized email address, but you can also link other emails like your Gmail account, okay? So let's go back to the topic, which is setting up our MX and SPF records correctly, okay? Now, if you're using, again, Hostinger, you just need to look for the DNS zone editor and where you can find that. So simply go back to your, like, I'm going to click this logo in here as our starting basis. You go into the website, and then you select your website domain. So I'm gonna click dashboard in here and then just type in zone editor. But I believe that our DNS zone editor is connected to our Cloudflare. So as again, it's a case to case basis, but you just need to look for your DNS zone editor, okay? I'll log into my Cloudflare um, and then click that and then DNS. And then as you can see here, um, so yeah, so you just need, so in here, as you can see, there's a lot of value as well that I have added, which is also similar to the hosting or it's just like, actually, it's just copying what is information in here to the cloud there. So what I'm going to do now, because this TXT records, I don't think it, this is a Titan. It's not a Titan TXT records. It's the old email client from the Hostinger. So, because before, um, Titan, Hostinger is not using Titan. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our email client. I'm going to click this one, learn more. And um, Titan has a really good documentation of how you can configure your SPF records and all. So in here, um, it's saying that you need to create an MX records email client. So set up the names. Okay. So let's get a f let's follow this um, 
tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. So you log into your DNS zone editor, find the MX records, which we already have that there. And we need to put this value, okay? I'm ready in the um, DNS zone editor. You click the add record and then you select the MX. MX and then what what's the point should be so with this one we're going to be targeting the root directory which is this one and then the email client server value and then hit host and then the priority should be 10 and then ttl would be 1 or 3600 seconds one R and I always love to put comments if I'm using Cloudflare by the way. Um, MX record Titan and then you just need to follow the rest. Oh by the way you're gonna remove the other stuff that are not necessary. Like this MX record this one is MX record registered services. This is the default um email address so if you're not sure what you are deleting guys make sure that you back up it um, in my case I'm really sure um, I don't need this because this MX record is a old email client from Titan so we're good on that so here MX record 10 and then we also gonna add another MX record okay fast forwarding I don't want to waste your time, so let's fast forward that. There's an MX and there's also SPF. So we're going to also configure our SPF records with this one as well. If it's already auto generated, make sure that you also delete it. Otherwise, it's going to cause conflict. So I'm going to delete that as well. It's not, as you can see, the value is registrar, it's not Titan. So we want to make sure that the value has a Titan value, okay? So I'm going to click another add record in here and then txt, txt, and then another root directory. Um, value would be that and then make sure that the TTL again is another R and this is the SPF records for Titan. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so once you already added that, um, mostly the propagation takes like 24 to 40 hours, but um, usually it should not take that much long. So I'm gonna check it again mm -hmm. and try it now. And then, yeah, as you can see, warning is solved. Another thing that you need to set up is the T key I M. So it's still the same process should be still the same. So um, there's a tutorial in here, I believe. It's super straightforward. I actually love hosting or when creating a document. So I'm going to click improve email reputation and then add txt records so let's follow that tutorial in here so another thing needs to be added is an extra txt records to your dns zone editor again let's go back to the cloudflare i'm going to click add record and then pick txt and then um usually the value when you are trying to add, you know, SPF records, um, DMARC, and what is the other thing? I forgot. Um, yeah, and MX records of, what is this? Um, MX records, SPF, I, I forgot the name. It's DKAIM or something. So you can really see the value in here. So in this tutorial, it's going to, we need to configure the D key I M option. So it's more of like the reputation of our email address. So if you are very 
rushed if you are very harsh to your emails it could affect your reputation and if your reputation is bad then in then um your emails your opening rate can also decrease so you need to be also careful avoid spamming people so i'm gonna put the name there the value there and then another value copy then um txt for dkalm titan email and then e and then saved and let's go back to the application and should redirect you to the web portal of your hosting uh, and then you just need to verify it super easy so i'm going to click email reputation um, check it again and yeah we're good to go now